boss? Yeah? How can I help? I just watched the YouTube boys, and they said we have to update the BIOS. What do you think? Well, that all depends. Who said it? Well, Linus said you should do it, and so did it Jay's two cents. He knows what he's doing. He's got 4,000, I mean, uh, 4 million subscribers. Well, what the other boys say? They said, well, um, if you update the BIOS and you don't know what you're doing, uh, you probably shouldn't. Um, maybe just wait and maybe get a professional to tune it or start learning how to overclock because oh, I don't want a broken seat for you. Oh, I see. So in a bit of a conundrum, you say? Well, my advice is, if you're gonna play around with computers or anything high performance, you gotta know what you're doing. Don't trust anyone. Six and a half hours later. So Timmy, you like the movie? Oh yeah, boss. The movie was great. I really enjoyed it, but but the ice cream you recommended. Oh, what did you think of the ice cream? Well, I love boysenberry. It's a, I reckon it's one of the best. You didn't like it? I can't say I do, boss, because because it was so cold and sweet. It 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 it, 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 it makes my teeth hurt. Well, Timmy. Next time I just buy a popcorn, how about that? Oh, by the way, boss, while I was in the bathroom, I, I was watching, I was, I was, I was watching Gamers Nexus, and, um, yeah, he was talking about the 11900K again, and, 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 and apparently it's, um, it's degrading as well. That's what one of his people have shown him. Several bad puns later. Are you fucking serious, Timmy? Or are you pressing my balls against the fence again? Because if I go home and check it, whoo! Guess the, bo guess the boss has to make another video again. Fucking nobody knows what they're doing. Unbelievable. things that just came out first puget systems which sells pre-built computers has published a write-up of its own experiences with intel's failures the post includes a chart with absolute values of units failed the 11th gen had remarkably bad failure rates the 12th and 10th generations look pretty reliable 12th is actually remarkably good overall and then the 13th gen has had a consistent strain of failures over a long period of nearly two years now. The company has also observed what appear to be significantly higher field failure rates with Intel CPUs in general for the past year. The red line indicates CPUs that did not fail in Puget's own QA processes, which would be consistent with potential CPU degradation over time. Hey, it's the boss. So it looks like after that video, we're going back in time and pulling more problems out of the rabbit hole. The 11900K apparently was the worst CPU with the most problems. This is the first I'm hearing it, honestly. The problem is you don't know what's going on and neither do the influencers, neither do the users, neither do the commenters, the news agents, whoever's publicizing it, it's just blown up crazy. You're crazy, honestly. The problem is the CPU demands so many volts, right? The motherboard, the BIOS isn't set correct. So it's giving it too many volts. It just needs to be tuned from the box. That's it, it's all done. There's a problem with the BIOS. It's the same, it's same with the problem with a driver. If the driver's not right, it's not gonna work good. But this, with the CPUs, obviously because the volts are so high, it's de degraded the chip. And you guys are just grabbing everything and, oh, no, it's this and, oh, it's that. And she said this and he might have said that. You, it's, uh, it's getting a bit getting a bit wild. Puget Systems pulling that trick. And now I'm going to put it on the screen. Apparently AMD is even worse. What the fuck is going on? So we're going to watch a bit of this and we'll watch a bit of that. And then you're going to come up with the conclusion and you're going to write in the comments and see what's wrong and what's right. 
I have had enough of this situation. It is completely... It's dog water. It's, it's fucking fish soup. And Timmy knows it. That could be part of your problem. And seeing as it's a physical issue with the chip, that wouldn't be fixed with a microcode update. So you will need to RMA to Intel. You got two options, baby. Two. You can be a victim. You can take care of yourself. That's it. Those are your two fucking options. Victim, take care of yourself. Now, take care of yourself is way more difficult, isn't it? It's much easier to sit in a corner and cry like a little bitch, isn't it? I, I, I fucking diagnosed the problem like a year ago. My entire Discord is fine. I'm like, here's how we fix it. And the whole, and the, the hardware space is like, no, he's not mad enough. Why aren't you mad, Jufus? Be more angry on my behalf. Okay. And if you look at the Verge's article too, damage is permanent. Well, yeah, no shit. You're, you degraded your silicon, right? Now, technically, there's no fix for degradation. You can't reverse degradation. There's no fix for that shit. As you can imagine, we talk about the failing CPUs and Intel's involvement and the fact that the motherboards still own a huge piece of this, even though the Intel statement said they're microcode, there's much deeper nuances to why the dynamic between motherboards and CPUs is causing this failure. What can they do to keep their, their risk at, as low as possible? So the very first thing that was said is the number one thing you can possibly do is update your BIOS. The reason for that is the fact that many of these fixes uh, are motherboard issues as well. I don't really have the time to go into a deep dive on this. I know Wendell has talked about it with level one techs. I know Steve has talked about some bio stuff, but he's, he's more on the crusade against the brand, if you will. Um, so we'll back off from that. But the um, Buildzoid has also done some amazing content regarding the problems with the motherboard settings and BIOS and the way that they're designed, um, which is just layering in the Intel problem. So really it's kind of the perfect storm between Intel not keeping close enough tabs on their board partners and keeping them within spec. Um, and then the board partners obviously taking too much liberties with what the CPU's capabilities are when it comes to voltages. And sometimes undervolting or undervolting by the motherboard manufacturers has been causing instability problems. So that's why the number one recommendation is going to be to update your BIOS. Now that's scary for a lot of people. Um, and most SIs do not recommend that their customers update their BIOS without using some sort of an installer or a guide from the SI themselves. The SI really wants to keep the customer's um, experience very curated so that they know exactly what the customer is doing. They need step-by-step -step instructions, which is exactly what Falcon provided for their systems. After the fact, you just do what I did in the last video there. Add a bit of voltage, lock the cores, find sweet spot simple as that and now and now in the back of your head you're like wow okay so from now on i'm going to be very aware of how my hardware is performing out of the box i'm not gonna let these boost algorithms dictate how my hardware performs you learn the lesson going forward yeah, you might have gotten fucked, but at least you're not playing victimhood and you're taking care of yourself. Dude, I do you want you want to talk about the uh, the BIOS bug that happened the other day in one of my consults? It's fucking unfortunate, dude. The guy updated his BIOS because he got fear mongered by um, mainstream and fucked up my entire previous consult. And then he had to pay another five hundred dollars for me to fix it. Because he was so scared. So I was like, why did you update the fucking BIOS, dude? Like a YouTuber said there was a major update from Intel. This is the only reason why I did it. I'm like, I hope you learned your fucking lesson. $500 lesson. Trust the guy you paid the first time. Mainstream tech tubers and these publications have no idea how much damage they're causing to real people, man. It's because they don't see these people suffering on the ground 
They don't see them suffering. So they'll never understand that they're they're like what they're doing is basically evil, dude. In my eyes, the shit that they're doing is fucking ridiculous, dude. Because people don't know what the fuck they're doing. Nobody has a fucking clue what they're doing, man. Let me. The micro code, you say. It's the BIOS, you say. Then it's the chip makers. But it's the micro code. Don't update the BIOS. Update the BIOS. Don't update the BIOS. Update the BIOS. If I'm getting the same volts in the BIOS and I update the BIOS, and the microcode changed. That means I'm running auto volts. So it should be okay. But he said don't update the BIOS. You're fucking delusional. You are. Who I could say. It's come to the point of how can we recommend now, honestly, how can we recommend for people to update the BIOS if they don't even know what they're looking at inside of it? If you're incompetent and unskilled to alter things in the BIOS, updating the BIOS isn't that simple. It really isn't. You could brick the motherboard. You could be in lots of trouble. And talking about motherboards, if you have a CPU and you put it in one motherboard and it reads out such a number of what voltage, say it's 1.45, 1.4, 1.5, basically. Then you take that CPU and you put it in a different motherboard and you have a look at the voltage, it's going to be different because of load line calibration and all the settings and whatever's been changed with the gigabytes to the ACEs, to the ASRocks, to the MSIs, to the whole lineup, they're all different. They're all good, but they're all different. So it doesn't matter what motherboard you choose, the voltage is going to be different. Some might be a bit lower, some might be a bit higher. But if the micro code isn't correct, that you should have checked from the factory, when you first put it in and boot it up, that's your problem. That sounds like a you problem, not an Intel problem. Now, it seems like everybody was incompetent to check these things. That's why it's on such a high scale. Now, that there's been a real acceleration going on here, you know, a real turbine effect of everybody jumping on Intel's back, it seems. I'm not too, not too sure why, but apparently it's okay because Gamers Nexus said that Puget Systems, AMD's worse. And the 11900K is the worst CPU that Intel's had. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time.